And with us now, we have Christine Royce. She is the NSTA president. Welcome to the show. Thank you. And what can folks expect from the NSTA next year? Well, next year our conference will be in Boston, and it's 2020. Um, so we will be highlighting a variety of the um, local areas up there, um, environment, continuing with our focus on climate, having uh, regular features that people come back year after year to see. So we have um, the elementary extravaganza, the meet me in the middle. This year we have two new events that we hope to continue next year. One is um, called Set Your Sights Higher, which is for high school teachers. And then we also have the linking literacy event. So we're trying to make sure we have a variety of programming and planning for all ages of teachers and or levels of teachers, I guess I should say, and ensure that science is accurate, the education is new, continuing to push that envelope and, and up the game a little bit. And what about teachers who are wondering, hmm, should I go next year, should I not? What would you tell them if they're teeter-tottering? Absolutely, they should absolutely <laughs> go. If nothing else, they're going to have an opportunity for professional development that they pick and choose their sessions. And what do you hope to see in the future of STEM? I think with the future of STEM, we're on the edge of trying to ensure that all students in today's world have opportunities in STEM. Because it is the jobs, the opportunities, the careers of the future. So I would hope that more organizations would start to collaborate. Um, I would hope that the government realizes the importance of funding STEM education because it does take money to train teachers and it does take money to have the resources for robotics and computers in the classroom. So I think that's one of the things that I would um, hope for the future for STEM as well as ensuring that teachers continue to have opportunities to come to conferences like this for the professional development that they'll need. Well, we thank you so much, Christine, for stopping by. Well, thank you. Thank you for your time.